Probable cases of the H1N1 virus, also known as swine flu. Here's where we stand right now. Four probable cases in Kent County, one confirmed case in Ottawa County, and another 10 probable cases in Ottawa County. Those new probable cases all clustered at Hope College. 24-hour news aide Emily Zangaro is live on campus there tonight with what the college and students are saying. Emily? Susie, just to be clear, health officials say that one confirmed case in Ottawa County has no affiliation with Hope College. As for the probable cases here, we are told the students are doing well and commencement is scheduled as normal for the weekend. At 5 p.m., the halls were closed for the summer at Hope College. Exams are over. Commencement is this weekend. But as the school year comes to a close, some students are sick. I don't even know what it is, honestly. I don't know if it's like I know it's deadly for some cases, like if there's not enough medicine, but I honestly don't know anything about it. There's lots of questions amongst these resident assistants who will live on campus this summer. <laughs> My grandma called and she was like, uh, are you okay? And I was like, is this really something I should be concerned with? Like, I, we haven't really been notified. Today, Ottawa County health officials announced a cluster of probable cases of H1N1 at Hope. They said they were able to find the probable cases so quickly because Hope College is a voluntary sentinel provider site, which means they are one of the many places that voluntarily provide samples to the state. We often will be in cooperation with Ottawa County Public Health to watch for certain things so that if there are upticks in certain um, health issues, that they'll know earlier than normal. Dean of Students Richard Frost says of the 10 samples sent to Lansing, nine were probable cases of H1N1 sent to the CDC in Atlanta. As they wait for results, Frost says the plan is to follow the health department's advice and keep commencement weekend as normal. They're ready. They're ready. I mean, their caps and gowns are ironed, and we're very excited. A decision students are on board with. I will be going to commencement. I'm actually an usher, and I'm pretty sure that um, everything right now is a go. Frost says only one of the students who was sick is scheduled to walk this weekend. That student is no longer contagious. Frost also confirmed for us that none of the students, uh, the probable cases, have been to Mexico recently. Reporting live in Holland, Emily Zangiro, 24-Hour News 8.